you know when you've looked for something for years never found it and then you find it and you get that feeling of elation well I've got a feeling of elation because I finally found Philonistis Xenia at the third year of looking it always means more the longer it takes you to find it This is Ordsall, a very windy Ordsall today and to be honest I'm struggling to make this video without the sound of trees blowing in a very strong wind at times. This is a quiet bit. But behind me over there are a number of white poplars, all quite young white poplars and in various stages of growth. They're quite scrubby to be honest. but. A few weeks ago I came here looking for one particular species, a species of micro moth, a leaf mining moth which I looked for last year, did one video of it, but have been looking for it for a number of years and it's Philopnistis Xenia. No sign, no sign in previous years and no sign when I came here a few weeks ago. I did find a Philopnistis which at the time when I first set eyes on it had my heart racing. In the end, it turned out to be Philip Lissis Unipunctella lane and the larva living on white poplar, which at the time surprised me, but it is known. Today, several weeks later, I've come back and I came back to look for something else. Actually, it's another leaf miner which has just turned up in the UK, but is now people are looking for it, turning up everywhere. And I thought I would have a look at some suckering black poplar at the other end of this ex playing field. No sign of that particular Philotnistis. So I had another look. I thought while I'm here and all that I'll have another quick look at Philotnistis Xenia. And on one leaf that I looked at, here it is. Doesn't look much does it? It's a very nice leaf, white poplar, nice and silvery white on the underside and the younger leaves are quite almost white they can be when they're very young with that whiteness that powdery whiteness wears off but on this leaf is the species that I've been after for a number of years Philotnistis xenia it's a new moth to Nottinghamshire and I'm well chuffed well, while the winds die down and that train goes by here is that leaf and you may struggle to see this leaf vine, it's a very indistinct leaf vine, it looks like a snail trail. The best part of it you can see here, as it winds round. What separates Philotnistis Xenia from Philotnistis Unipunctella is the fact that there is a dark central line throughout the leaf mine here. And there are at least two or three mines on this leaf, they are vacated unfortunately, that's the point where this particular lengthy mine was vacated. In the end, it actually stood out quite, quite well, but as you'll see from the footage, actually looking for this is very difficult with it being so windy. And I just happened to catch it right. As you can see, if I tilt that, you can see it stands out a little bit more there than it does there, look. If I do that, it virtually disappears until we turn it round again. There you can see the lengthy mine and a number of other mines just above my thumb. I've looked on every stand of white poplar that I could in Nottinghamshire. I've been all over for it. I think, I think it's more widespread. But this is the only leaf of all the white poplar that's here that I've found the mines on. 
And when I came the other week, I only found the mines of Philotnistis unipunctella just on one single leaf. How glad am I that I came back and thought, I'll have another look. I've done it before, I've come here last year and looked for it. Never found it. In fact, I think this is my third year of looking for it here. Just looking for this snail trail like leaf mine. As inconspicuous as it is, it represents another new moth for Nottinghamshire. And all those hours of looking has paid off. Makes it out, it almost disappears and then looks stronger. Look at that. And Philotnistis zenia mines are only found on white poplar. She's a very nice leaf, lobed, yeah, that silvery grey underneath. And when fresh, these leaves have a powdery residue on top which brushes off. So success at last. After several years of looking for Philonistis Xenia, 